In this video, I'm going to show you how to install this seal onto there and this seal onto the other side. First, you're going to fill the inside of the seals with some bearing grease, just like that. There you go. Then you're going to take some gasket maker. I like to use it. You don't have to, but it helps it slide in. And then once it's in there, it will never come out. So you put that in like that. Then you're going to just push it in as far as it'll go flush with your fingers. And now you can take a little extension and just tap it in so it's uh, nice and flush go all around. You want that side flush with uh, the outside um, of the aluminum there. So you want that flush. There, all done. Now for the other side. So the other side is a little bit more complicated. So here is the uh, crankshaft, um, my old one. See, that's where you want um, the seal to be. See how it, how it, it's thinner there you want it to you it has to sit on the area that's that's not that's straight so that's where you want it right there you don't want it on uh, the part that's beveled so you're gonna slide it in so it goes past the beveled point but not push it in all the way you want it just past the bevel point so you're gonna slide it in with the uh, gasket maker again it helps it slide very easily so you don't have to really even bang it in you can just push it with a socket it'll just slide right in so be careful not to go too deep because then uh, there's no way to pull it back out so you put it push it in with your fingers flush first and then you're gonna grab a socket like that and you're just gonna just push it just enough to pass the bevel point and then that's good make sure it's straight give it a check and that's what it should look like right there just past the bevel point see how it's in that's how you want it on that side the other side it just goes flush with the case on this side it doesn't please subscribe so i can keep making these videos otherwise i'm gonna have to stop making them because i'll never get any funding for this thank you